right, cold. But I'm all set up. I feel like sitting outside no more, it's too damn cold. And the fish have been real finicky here lately, so we're gonna wait it out and try to get that afternoon bite. And uh, that's it, hoping for crappie, hoping for perch. So let's see how it goes. All right, we got our second one here, but I wasn't recording. Oh, he's a nice one too. Oh, he's not a nice one. He just gave me a little fight. I don't know. Would you keep that little guy? I don't think I keep that little guy. No, nah, he's good. Yeah, no, he ain't blowed out at all. As you can see right there, I got a pretty good one. He's probably about a 12 or a 13. This guy's only about a 6. We're going to let him go. Uh, we just got here, so hopefully the action continues. I'm marking a whole bunch of fish. Well, his air bubble ain't blown up, but he ain't acting super healthy. If he don't get right here in a second, we'll keep him. Yeah, right there, slick. Camera shut off, but he, he kicked right back to life and kicked down. His air pocket, or his air sac wasn't uh, a swim bladder, whatever you want to call it. He was fine. Oh, and there's the first one we caught. That's much better. We get four or five of those, we'll have us some tacos here to eat tomorrow. Well, that was aggressive. We should get this one, hopefully. Hopefully he stays on it. Come on, buddy. That bobber. Looks like we got one on the bobber. That thing ain't moved all day and it just... It's... There he is. Yep. Oh shit. That son, he was trying to take my rod in. No. No, there was another one hitting dead hitting my dead stick, I promise you. It's another good crappie right there on the minner, boys. There's still four or five. A few come through just now. We'll take that. He's been playing with me for a little bit. And then there's a couple more over here. So hopefully we'll have fish tacos in no time. All right, now i got to get resituated. I almost had two at one time. I finally got one to come up, but I don't know. This bait might be too big. We'll find out. He come up and he's on it. First one in a little while. And he's gone. This might be too big of a bait. I'm gonna drop that little tungsten back down there. That's what's going on. They're so finicky. I put this big bait on really just to try to call them up to see if I can get them to come in. So we'll get rid of this. Put on the tungsten again. All right, I've been sitting here a minute fighting these fish, and we got us one at about 38 feet. I had to switch colors a little bit. Ooh, this feels like a nice one, too. I'm 10 pounds of bologna stuffed in a 5-pound bag, so moving around and getting footage inside here is much, much tougher. But, yeah, that's a slab. And I brought him up out of deep, so he's in shock. Look at there. That's a donkey. Hooked him right in the top lip perfectly in that bony spot. So he going home, Sam. Feeling pretty good about it. What? Oh, God, right in the bone. He wasn't going anywhere. Switched to a little heavier. That's a five millimeter glow orange and white tungsten. Still tipped with the red spike. And uh, we got him. So, yeah. Can't get the hook set because I'm telling you, these fish are so finicky right now. He's come up 
you can't really see the graph, but you know what I'm talking about if you ice fish. He's come up to the bait and looked at it and went back down. Come up to the bait, looked at it, went back down for the last half an hour, and he finally bit. So there we go. It's about an 11-incher, maybe 12, probably 11, but pretty awesome. We're doing all right. Just in time. He looks like he's swimming up. He don't seem like a bad one. And I'm hoping it doesn't come off. I downsized to a smaller uh, hook. So, oh, that sucks. Well, he's a fatty, but he's little. He's little. I think he got the hook set, though. I turned it on when I seen him coming up, and he hit it as soon as he got up. Oh, easy, bud. He's a borderline keeper just because he's so fat but I'm not going to keep him. I'm after bigs. I mean, he's really not a borderline keeper even. He's pretty small. But he gave me a pretty good fight from 30 some feet down. His eyeballs ain't too popped out. So he, oh, he swam out. There, he's gone. He's healthy. But anyway, I downsized to a three millimeter pink, still tipped with a spike. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That wasn't really exciting. Well, we're not catching any fish right now, so I can give you the tour of the humble abode that I've been sitting in for about six hours now. There it is. Real low ceilings. Makes it very difficult for hook sets in this little thing because you're always banging on the door or the roof, so you gotta make sure you get real low. Uh, out here, there's my bobber hole. I've caught one out of that today. Looks like I need to break it up. So I didn't have room for two eight inch holes inside here. And then behind me is the sled where I store my extra rods and baits. That's it, that's what I'm stuck in. These things are kind of small, but super, super handy. Yeah, and that's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to just get a couple more so I can have some fish tacos. See what happens. All right, it's been a while, but we got us another one. He don't feel too good. I think he's a little bluegill, but we'll see here in a second. Point toward the hole there. Oh, it is good. It's crappie. It's a good crappie. He'll add. That's a nice one. All right. I was actually out there talking to a buddy. And see, uh, his eyeballs popped out pretty good from coming up too quick from the deep water. So, whether I keep him or not, he's going to die. So, he might as well be a taco. But anyway, yeah, it's been a long time. About an hour since I got a fish, so that's pretty good. It's almost at that hour where you hope everything gets active so excuse me if i don't even know what to say it's been so long i was getting tired sitting in here but yeah there we go sorry i didn't get the hook set but i was shocked that i actually got another one i was about to give up to be honest with you but he got her on the pink I actually switched to a pink uh three millimeter tungsten just a little smaller i don't know if i've shown that or yet that one yet or not but let's add him to the pile and get back at it Well, you can hear that. My heater's going out. I've tried for one more, but it ain't looking good. We're gonna have to pack it up, I think. Oh man, come on heater, hang in there. Oh, we got our last one, folks. As the heater went out, whatever size this is, we're done. Oh, it's a good one bring a little light in here I can't see what I'm doing it's either a good one or I got stuck on it. yep I got stuck on my transducer let's open this thing up
Got my fish god last one, son. A decent sized bluegill. Right here. Right as my heater went out, bro. <laughs> the, the, as soon as the propane ran out. So we got plenty of fish for fish tacos. The fish gods gave me one last decent bluegill. And I appreciate him. He gets a second chance at life. We're good. I give up for now. I gotta pack this shit up. No, I'm gonna tell you what. Dragging this thing usually is not a big deal. But through a foot of snow, oh, god damn, that's a long way. My god, we're not there yet. Let me start my truck. My god, 30 minutes later. Phew. All right, we got a handful of nice fish. Plenty for fish tacos. Every one of them are better than average. That bluegill's smaller than the one I let go. I probably should have kept him, but I made a deal with the fish gods to give me one more. That's an absolute tank. Fat tank. And an average guy. Plenty for our family to have a good dinner. So that's it for me. That was an absolute grind to get that many fish. I'm breathing way too hard to do an outro because I had to walk six miles dragging a sled in the foot of snow. So till next time.